G'day, I'm Robert Dippier, the Medico, the Big Dipper. I played two 140 games and five premises for the Hawthorne Football Club. And I love to barbecue. So, I rounded up Australia's best barbecuers to battle it out each week and pass on and share their tips, tricks and advice on how to make the perfect backyard barbecue. G'day, I'm Boomer and I'm just a simple tradie. But I've got a passion for all things food, but especially barbecue. I'm Dean Schumann and I've been cooking barbecue for over 30 years and I know I can bring a different twist to this show. I'm Justin Graydon, a competition barbecue that's been on the scene for the last few years and I plan on bringing you some great Q. My name's Scott Gould and I'm a self-taught ex-butcher and now professional pit master and I'm going to cook the hell out of this competition. Each week I'll give the guys a randomly picked protein to cook along with a complimentary side dish. They will team up in pairs to discuss, plan and execute the perfect Aussie barbecue. We'll follow their every move during the cook-off and then I'll judge the dish out of 10 with some special guests throughout the series for the ride to be crowned Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars champion. Last week on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, Len, Ben and myself gave the nod to Team Justin and Scotty who between them scored nine points with their pork rib sandwich, while Steno and Boomer were just behind with eight points. Hello and welcome to Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars. We're in Victoria, we're in Pakenham, and we're at the Heritage Springs Shopping Centre. And today, we're cooking seafood, boys. Yes. Seafood week it is. It is the first time we've cooked seafood on the show, and we know how delicate seafood can be. Now, you boys, I've already picked the team, so I'm happy where you guys are standing. Yeah, but I'm going to get you to pick your own barbecue. But before we do, let's have a look at what you are cooking. Right. Here we go. Oh, here we go. You can't go wrong with a snapper, Ooh. oysters, yes. and of course scallops. Uh, I'm going to give you that there, well, boys. Yes. You're right there. And on this side here of my Coolman, we've got, yes, everybody's favourite. We've got the flathead fillers and the southern yes. calamari, or squid as they call yes. it. So there's your meats. One, two, three. Pick your barbecue. While these boys are fighting for the barbecue, let's just see how these guys go. It's Seafood Week here on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars. Yeah, Dipper giving us the squid and also the flathead. Oh, I mean, I love cooking them. You're the squid boys, the tentacles. <laughs> I just love the flathead tails. Yeah, I mean, seafood, you've got heaps of options. Like, we, we can go lots of different flavour profiles with them and make something work for sure. I reckon bring a bit more heat. Yeah, spice it up yeah, a bit. Yeah, spice it up. Easy. I'm absolutely stoked that Dipper gave us Snapper. Uh, I grew up on the beach at Morty Alec, so seafood I was cooking every week. I reckon Snapper would we'll just slowly cook it and, and wrap it up in foil. We'll actually let the fish speak for itself. We, want, we won't throw a heap of ingredients at it hoping to make it all look jazzy. It doesn't need it. Leave it on the bone, keep the sweetness in it. Yeah. Easy cook. 100%. I'm absolutely wrapped the seafood week this week. It's the first time we've had seafood on the show. Uh, three of my favourite things. Oysters, love them. Yep. Scallops, yum, yum. And the beautiful uh, snapper. Tell me how you're going to prepare these seafoods. Quite basically, Dipper. We're going to just only use a few basic ingredients. Yep. We like the seafood to speak for itself. Yep. So the snapper, in some foil, a few herbs, wrap it up, throw it in the barbie, give it about an hour right for this size fish. We'll open it up for the last half hour, get a little bit of colour in there. Perfect. Easy. Easy. So scallops, little, they're just like little sponges. They love flavour, they love taking on flavour. So we're going to wrap in some prosciutto. Yeah. How can you go wrong with that? Lead the row on, because yeah. they are a little bit small, but that's all right. We'll work with that. And then just really simple oysters kill Patrick. Fry up some bacon, get it in your face. Beautiful. Well, looking forward amazing. to tasting these, because you know, I'm judging these with a couple of celebrity judges on their way. Well, boys, I hope you're happy with the seafood I've given you. And, of course, we're at Heritage Springs Meats here. They've got a new range of seafood. Yep. Now, I've given you the salmon calamari. Yep. And I've given you the flatheads as oh, well. Now, 
Whatever you do, do not stuff this up, please. Oh, well, funny you mention that. We're actually going to stuff the squid. So, I'm going to chop up some chorizo. You're trying to be funny. No, 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 no I'm serious. We're going to stuff the squid. All right, don't stuff it up too exactly, much, Exactly, exactly. Okay, right. So, we're going to take a couple of tomatoes, chorizo, onion, yep. capsicum, cook some of that off, and that will end up being packed inside the squid. First, we'll actually, though, marinate the hood yep. and the tentacles yep. in a nice sort of acidic marinade for a little bit. Not long, probably 15 minutes, just okay. to soften up the flesh a little. Yep. And then, yeah, stuff it, grill it over charcoal. Perfect. Well, I'll, I'll be looking forward yep. to judging that. And the flatheads? Uh, so many ways you can do flatheads. I hope you're ready for a bit of a crunch. I love a crunch. crunch. Yes, I need oh, a crunch. crunch. Right up. So the, the flatty tails, we're going to actually make up a nice beer batter using this Beautiful beer here. I'm yep. using a uh, pale ale, yep. so it's not too not too heavy. We're going to make a batter. We're obviously going to dip it in egg, dip it in the batter. We're then going to put a bit of panko crumbs on it. Yep. That's going to add the extra crunch factor to it. That's going to come out brilliant. Right on. Then we're going to get some onions. Going to slice these into nice thick sections for onion rings. Onion rings. Onion rings. Okay, right on. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to make another beer batter. Yep. But we know you like your chili. Yeah, I so love my chili. A bit of that with You've it. got me going with oh, my chili. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll come up nice and crispy right. as well. So, okay, so we've got the calamari, which is going to be stuffed. It's going to be stuffed. And we have the flathead tails, which are going to be crunchy. Oh, nice yeah. crunch. Stuffed calamari, crunchy flathead. Yeah. Can't wait. Seafood week here on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Walk. Hey, guys, just a quick tip on choosing the freshest fish. What you're going to be looking for is nice, glassy eyes. You want them really nice and shiny and clear. No smell whatsoever, so it should just smell like the ocean. And the last thing we're always going to check for is just lift up his little gills. It should be nice and pink inside. If you've got all those three things, you can be ensured that you've got the freshest fish possible. What I love about having your own show, Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, is that you can invite your own friends. That one thing I didn't do was Captain the Mighty Hawks, but this great man, Richard Vandenberg, did. Played over 146 games for the Hawks. Richie, thank you for coming on the show, mate. No, it's a pleasure to be here, Dip. It's uh, fantastic. Thanks, mate. And uh, look, uh, you've got wines uh, under your own name now. Yeah, no, we do. We've got a wine business, and I thought I'd bring one along with this little beauty. It would be fantastic for the seafood day we've got going here today, so I'm sure the boys will enjoy this one. You're going to join me on the judging table, and we might just sit around and talk about my great career. <laughs> oh, Scotty, I reckon we're ready to prep our snapper. Let's do it. If I chuck some lemon down, yep. I'll get you to throw the snapper on top. Sure. Do we want to You want to stuff that now? Uh, yeah, let's stuff it now. Oh, open him up. Look at that. Look how fresh it is. Oh, that's beautiful. That's magic. So, we'll put a bit of lemon in there. So that juice is just going to go through all the fish, yeah? Oh, it's going to be beautiful, I'm excited. Mate. That's going to be delicious. A little bit of garlic. Some of the garlic. And oh, just a little bit of thyme. That. That's going to be beautiful. Just put him to bed. Put him to bed. Can I get you to just do a couple of little slots down the side? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we'll, and we'll stuff that as well. Do you want to open up the cavity? Let's put a little bit of butter in the cavity. Beautiful. Nice one. And a little bit of butter. I'll just get you to break that on top. Yeah. Wrap it up. Beautiful. And we'll just finish off with some nice chives. It's ready to eat now, right? Chop it up. Let's eat. No, we just wrap that one up. Nice and tight. We don't want any room for steam. We don't want this to necessarily steam out too much. We just want those flavours to penetrate. Yep, let's get the other one prepped and we can throw them both on. Righto. Justin has been inside finishing his prep. I'm out here getting the filling done for our southern calamari. Dipper said don't stuff it. We're not going to stuff it, but we are going to fill it up with these beautiful ingredients. I've been cooking down some chorizo, uh, red and brown onion, red and green capsicum, some garlic, and it's just getting nicely caramelised. We'll then let that cool and fill the tubes. Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, not only do we use the best products 
the best ingredients, have the best recipes. We also have the best people. Good friend of mine, Barry Michael, IBF champion of the world in the super featherweight division. In 1985, him and Lester Ellis, great Australian boxers, were there in the ring. Not one round, not 10 rounds, but 15 rounds. What a great day that was for you. You end up winning this beautiful belt. I certainly did, Dipper. And as you said, it went 15 rounds. I believe it was the second last 15 round fight in history that actually went 15 rounds. After that, they brought it back to 12 rounds. So I'm very proud of that. Now, this means a lot to you because you worked so hard. Now, this seafood week this week, and boxing is a, uh, just an athlete sport. You've got to be so fit. I would assume seafood would have been part of your diet. Undoubtedly. When I was uh, training to fight Leicester, I had to make 58.95 kilograms, which you can see I haven't seen in decades. But... On my diet, I used to be on 1,000 calories a day, and the only protein I could eat was, well, I could eat 90 grams of red meat, yep. 120 grams of chicken, or 200 grams of fish. I've always been a mad fisherman, always loved seafood, so yep. it was always 200 grams of great seafood. We've got a snap in there. Weighs exactly the, it's the same weight you fought at. <laughs> That's a big snap, huh? Uh, it's a big snap, <laughs> that is. I can't wait for you to judge the food with me. I'm looking it's going to be fantastic. And maybe one of the boys will take away this championship belt. Can't wait. Let's get the seafood on the plate. Dibbler's Backyard Barbecue Wars, and we're in Packenham, Victoria, and it's Seafood Week. If you missed the first half, we've got Snapper with one of the boys, and we've also got Stuffed Calamari. Can't wait to get into it. Let's see how the boys are going. Oh, Dean, I'm so looking forward to this beautiful Snapper. Well, you've prepared the fish. Yep. The barbecue's ready to go. Explain the cooking process, the most important part. It's actually quite simple with Snapper, or any large fish. We've only got one of the burners going on the gasser, and we're going to cook the fish over here on the indirect zone. Right, okay, okay? indirect, okay. So we're just going to poach it in, in the, the foil with, with yep. those couple of herbs that we put in there, a bit of butter, a bit of lemon. That flavour is just going to enhance the natural fish flavour. All right, beautiful. Okay? So, so very simple, just herbs, butter. Very simple. It, okay. Very simple. And about the cooking process, how long? Oh, we'll, we'll leave it wrapped up for about an hour right for this size fish. Yep. We'll come and check it and we'll probably open it up and just get a bit of colour in there for the last maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. No and just just keep well, an eye on it. I look forward to tasting this in about an hour's time. Beautiful. Put the lid down and I can go. Now, I understand you're fast cooking. Yeah, a lot quicker. Well, you want to get pretty fast because there's nothing prepared to halfway hey, through. This is all prepared. It was a long prep. Right, so, OK. Well, Justin's made beer batter. Right, He's got the onion rings ready. Yep. He's got the panko crumbs uh, flathead tails. Terrific. We've got the side salad yep. going. We've just got to grill off the hulumi quickly. Right, oh. We've had the squid marinating. It's been marinating for about 15 minutes in Terrific. some uh, mirin, sake, yep. olive oil. Now, boom, I assume that's the stuffing. That is the stuffing. We're going to fill those calamari hoods up with it and then grill them over charcoal. Now, what I tell you before, do not stuff the seafood. I oh, know, we're not going to stuff it. Right, we'll be good. Don't stuff it, I'll be back soon. No worries. quickly sear off these scallops. We don't want to overcook them, so basically once this prosciutto's got a bit of colour, they're going to come off. So we've all heard about fried fish, but how about fried not fried, using your own kettle? Today we're going to be using what's called a kettle cone from TB2 Smokers up at Far North Queensland. I prepared a nice sriracha beer batter for these onion rings, and over here we've got another beer batter, a little bit different, it's got salt, pepper, some garlic in it, and we've added some panko crumbs just to give it a bit of extra crunch. So I'll open up the lid. We're using some uh, coconut heat beads at the moment. So what we'll do is, what it does is it creates a direct zone right in the middle, it's very hot here, and a bit of an indirect zone around the outside. So what I'm gonna do is place these carefully around the outside, and we'll let, leave those alone for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna throw in the flathead tails as well. And these will probably take about 20 minutes or so. So we get a nice bit of coloration on them and the onion breaks down a little bit as well. But in about 10 minutes, we'll add on the flathead tails because they won't need too long at all. So we've got the 
Napoleon kettle here, full of charcoal, spread out evenly across the whole kettle. It's raw and hot. The grill's ready to go, and we're just going to place the squid down. It's only going to be about a five or ten minute cook, and we'll just get some nice grill marks on it, and it'll be super tender. We're going to put the oysters on now. And we're going to spoon on our fried bacon that we did earlier. And our little tomato sauce, Worcestershire and Tabasco sauce mix on top of that. And these will only take maybe a minute, minute and a half. It's just to warm the sauce up. Coming out of that foil, yeah. and it was perfect. It was. Yeah. It was bang perfect. on, bang on, bang on. I'm so happy you guys are here. You're a great Australian, there, Barry, great and you're a great horse, yeah, mate. Great All right, now listen. For the great Australian, I'm looking forward to this great Australian go, seafood. Nice. As I speak, and it lands, Dino. That looks spectacular. Tell us what we've got on the plate. What we've got on the dipper is our snapper that we baked in some foil on one of our barbecues. Yep. A white wine sauce over the top. Uh, we've got our scallops wrapped in prosciutto and our oysters killed Patrick. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, we're going to taste this, we're going to judge this, and then we'll let you know how we go, right? Mm. You can help yourselves, you need lemon, off you go. I'm going to try the oyster first. Me too. Yeah, the old uh, killed Patrick. Not too wet, really nice flavour on that. Mm, really good. like that. Fish is good. That white wine sauce, oh, they, Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, beautiful. Look, even made the, the fish curl his tail up. How's our scallops go? Dipper, I love scallops. I was, right. bought, I was bought up in Williamstown with scallops. I'm a big fan and they're very nice. Well, you've loved the scallops and you've loved the fish. I've loved the Kilpatrick. We're going to get together and find out what scores we're going to give the boys. <laughs> Flathead tails, nice bit of colour. Yep. I've already had a feel of one, bite of one, crunch. Look good, mate. Your squid looks banging. Yeah, the squid's good. It's got heaps of flavours and the colours. Hopefully we get the texture right and, you know, they enjoy it. What did you think of the first dish, mate? Excellent. I'm yeah. really looking forward to this yeah, one. Yeah, no, it's going to be hard to beat that one. Well, I love flathead. Ah, flathead, uh, here we go. I was talking about flathead. Here we go. There we are. Beautiful flathead there. And I told the boys not to stuff the calamari, but <laughs> Justin, you've stuffed it. But we think you'll enjoy this kind of stuffing. Oh, right. Well, explain to me what goes on. Obviously, we've got the stuffed calamari there. Yep. We've got some flathead tails that have been fried, not fried. Beautiful. Some uh, slightly spicy younger rings for you. OK. And a, a side salad, a bit of halloumi on top. Enjoy, fellas. The uh, snap was, was a great dish to, to taste before. Let's just see how we go here, boys. Let me go. Let's have a go, eh? Oh, yeah. It's a barbecue, but it still tastes that buttery taste. Mm. Flathead's excellent. Yeah. Very nice. I've uh, done a good job there. That flathead's spot on. Isn't it? Here we go with the uh, calamari. Calamari with a bit of stuffing in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very good combination. It is a good combination. Very nice. Hey? Bazza, is that world class? That flathead is world class. Is that world class? Well, if Barry Michael says it's world class, Dipper, <laughs> it's world class. Yeah. I'll have to stick with that. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, is it world class or not? We're going to have a chat very shortly and we're going to tell the boys what we think of it. Oh, what a week, boys. Seafood week. That was tough. That was tough. Uh, we, we sat down, had a great Barry Michael with me and, of course, with uh, Richard Vandenberg as well. We had a tough decision. Boys, your calamari, your stuffed calamari and your flatheads with that halloumi cheese was beautiful. We've given you an eight. An eight. Right. <laughs> eight out of ten, like, it's not a terrible score. It would have been nice to be better, but, you know, Dipper said at the start of the show, seafood's one of those, you've got a small window to get it right, and obviously we just didn't nail it. That snapper that you cooked oh, was fantastic. Yeah. That, that, 
the, the taste of it. The scallops wrapped up in the prosciutto. My God. And also, my favourite there was the oysters. Kilpatrick, oh, I'm so sorry to say this, boys, but we've given you a 10! <laughs> so for all the recipes here on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, please go to bushcooking.com and we'll see you next week on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars! Next week on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, it's Grey Nomad Week as the boys take on two Australian icons on the hot plate. This and much more on Australia's number one barbecue show, Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars.